And it's time tonight for the latest in our series, Streamline, where we take you behind some of the biggest film and TV series hitting screens worldwide. And of course, we have one from a gigantic cinematic universe that's expanding even further now, the John Wick universe. At the core of it is the Continental. It's a chain of international hotels that function as a neutral territory for high caliber criminals where assassination assignments can be safely exchanged. And if that doesn't sound riveting, I don't know how to get you hooked into it. It's a new three-part prequel series that's coming out called The Continental from the world of John Wick. It explores the origin behind the iconic hotel for assassins through the eyes and the actions of a younger version of the popular character Winston Scott as he attempts to seize control of that iconic hotel. Let's take a look. We have to strike first. And I need all the help I can get. How are we supposed to believe a guy in an ascot can pull this off? It's a cravat. That does look like Winston. Joining us now, executive producer and director Albert Hughes. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. I can't wait to see this. I'm a giant fan of the John Wick films, as so many people are. Mm. What drew you to it? I assume you were a fan first. Oh, yeah. I mean, I saw them all in the movie theaters. While we were making this, they were finishing four, and I saw an early cut, maybe almost close oh, to four hours. And I was a fan just because it, of what Chad Stahelski, the director, and Keanu had done. They'd taken all the influences of the past, Hong Kong cinema. Uh, Chad's a big uh, Bob Fosse musical fan, and he does a ballet of bullets. And uh, it looks like these guys are having fun. So when it came to me, I go, we just got out of COVID. Everybody's kind of stressed out. Nobody wants to hear about reality right now. Right. I want to have fun. Maybe the audience wants to have fun, too. That's really interesting. And we mentioned this in the, in the intro. So the main character is Winston, who is known very well in the movies. This is a younger version of it. And uh, I, I believe that we have another clip here as he's trying to take control of the film. And he's also kind of running for his past. Can we play that clip from Winston? Winston, your brother stole something from me. <laughs> What you took is very important to a lot of very dangerous people. Find him, because if you don't, I'll bring the weight of this whole institution down on you both. Sure. So Mel Gibson there also. Yeah. Uh, but I'm curious as a filmmaker, when you already have, number one, a character that exists in the world and is loved by fans, you need a younger version, so it's mm -hmm. got to be a different actor. How's that process and how complicated is that of finding the right person for the job? Well, it starts like the normal thing you do with any proce process in casting is that you put out a wide search. But this guy, uh, this actor, not this guy, he's a friend now, Colin Woodell, uh, he just has old throwback movie star qualities about his look and his relationship with the camera, but he's so smart as an actor for being so young. He's 31 years old. Oh, no kidding. And he just makes these fantastic choices. Uh, speaking of, you mentioned kind of... Uh having a little bit of a throwback feel. This is clearly set in the 70s. Mm -hmm. The soundtrack comes bursting at you just in the teaser there. Yeah. What role does the, the time play and how did you want to get that right? Well, I mean, it's easy. Uh, it the dec decade I was born in and, you know, there's a lot of nostalgia from Taxi Driver to Saturday Night Fever to disco to classic rock. Um, <laughs> and so it's this really crazy cool mix of music that rarely happens in cinema or TV. Um, and it, it's a reflection of New York, and New York is one of the singular cities where cultures mix like they do. You have no choice. You're going to hear and smell different foods and different ethnic backgrounds are there. So uh, that was cool about the 70s. It's cool now in New York. You, it's still the same as far as the cultures go, but right. in the 70s, there's just that special yeah. flair. Yeah. yeah. Well, it all sounds amazing, and the attention to the details there, and from, I mean, just hearing that soundtrack also, they clearly invested in this and believe oh, yeah. in it too. So very excited for it. Albert, thank you for, uh, so much for coming here. Part one of The Continental from the world of John Wick. It premieres tomorrow on Peacock and then the rest of the series installments premiering on September 29th and October 6th. Albert, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. Wonderful to meet you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.